Hi again. It's now day seven. Only three days left. Make sure you find today's secret word because you'll need it to win the giveaway. Read all about it in the description below. Today, I'm making two spider themed snacks one being spider noodles and the other being chocolate pretzel spider webs. For the spider noodles, all you'll need is Vienna sausage and uncooked spaghetti. If Vienna sausage isn't your thing, you can replace it with hot dogs. This recipe is so quick and easy and great finger food for little ones. First thing you'll want to do is remove your Vienna sausage or hot dogs out of its packaging and go ahead and cut them into bite size. This is another snack that is highly requested by my kids all year round. And the nice part is it's so easy and actually fun for them to make it themselves. So what we do is we prep it and we assemble it together. After the sausages are cut, go ahead and break your spaghetti noodles in half. Now for the fun part. This is when your kids will love to get involved. One by one, you're gonna stick a raw spaghetti noodle into the sausage and you're gonna use eight to 10 noodles. You also wanna make sure you're spacing out each noodle so that you're not creating one big hole because if you stick maybe like five noodles at one time, you could break the sausage. Then the last step is just to boil them in some salted water until the noodles are soft. Once they're done, they should look something like this. Carefully drain out the water and let it cool down before serving. This is a fun finger food, so you wanna make sure the temperature is not too hot when you give it to your kids. And now you have yourself a bowl of spider noodles. Next up, we're gonna be making chocolate pretzel spider webs. What you will need is some pretzel sticks, some white chocolate, I'm using white candy melts, and a piping bag. If you don't have a piping bag, you can definitely use some Ziploc bags, but it really helps to use the quart size Ziploc bag because the plastic is thicker. As you can see, the sandwich bag plastic is super thin and sometimes it breaks while you're squeezing the chocolate through. So if you have quart size, that one works better. Once you fill it up with chocolate, all you need to do is just snip off the corner and pipe it that way. Now it's time to melt your chocolate. I'm going to use the microwave method, but you can even do a double broiler. Sometimes I feel like that works better than the microwave, but for today, I'm just going to make a small batch, so I'm just popping it inside of the microwave. Be careful when you are doing the microwave method because you can easily overheat the chocolate, which makes it hard. So do little intervals of 30 seconds or even 15 seconds. And be sure to mix the chocolate around before you pop it back in the microwave. Once your chocolate is soft enough, go ahead and transfer it into a piping bag. It can be pretty tricky to get your product into a piping bag, so try using a tall cup and pour in your product this way. You'll get the product in there easier and cleaner. Once your piping bag is ready, line your surface with parchment paper. Squeeze a little dollop of chocolate as the center base of your spider web. Using eight pretzel sticks, you're going to stick the point end into the chocolate and try to form a snowflake-like shape. When you're working with melted chocolate, you have to work kind of fast, so just be careful and try to space out your pretzels as evenly as you can. Once you have your snowflake intact, go ahead and seal it up with another dollop right on top. This will seal it all together so that your pretzel sticks don't move. Now for the web effect, you're going to go from each pretzel stick creating a shallow U. Repeat the same step for the outer part of the web. Prior to starting the chocolate process, I would recommend you going into your pretzel bag and picking out all the pretzel sticks that you want because a lot of times the pretzels do get crushed and you want to make sure you have uniform size of pretzel sticks. And also try not to stress about how perfect your web comes out because really webs come in all different shapes and sizes. I had some mini M&Ms on hand so I picked out the brown ones and I used it to be spiders. The chocolate hardened in about 10 minutes in the fridge and they were ready to be popped off of the parchment paper. I used an offset spatula to release it from the parchment paper and that worked perfectly. Although the chocolate is holding the pretzel sticks in pretty firmly, you want to be very careful because this tree is very fragile. So I recommend displaying it on a plate or a tray like I did here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you found that secret word. I'll see you tomorrow in day 8 of 10 days of Halloween.